Hey guys, right in front of us is some great data. Right in front of us, very short video here. Look at the crane, the, the crane stand. Look at the crane stand. Think of the wall that's here also. Well, of course we know the video, but let's think about this for a second. There's the crane, there's the wall. Let me back it up one, I gotta go the other way. And the video is killing me here. Okay. There's two cranes. Two cranes here. And what is it stating to us? Look at it. All the material fell straight down. There was no lateral uh, racking of this collapse. Left, nor right, east, west, whatever you, uh, you're going to look at directional. Yeah, the one crane had a little stockpile and it caused it to lean. But in general, it was straight up and down. This crack, this failure is straight. Look at this shearing off here. It's straight up and down. The collapse is from the mid-span, from here to the outer wall, inward, just right down the middle. The outer wall is not falling in towards here. It's not like the this sheared first. And then the uh, outer wall, the weight, the low weight span, uh, fell down and it just leaned over and fell towards this section here. No, this is just as I stated away some time ago. It's like an implosion took place. So this is like a mid-span failure. I'm back to the loads, the spans being too great for this for this uh, design, and mid-span being the uh, overloading um, indicator for the for the for the most part. But the moment the failure not quite is is af it changes a bit because of the configuration of the steel members. Um, and that, in that, for example, this is longer, it comes over to here. So that span was here. The initiating point is still, I think, somewhere down, down this end, based on a few things, you know, the video number one. But look at this again. Look at that beautiful shearing off. This is just maybe uh, longitudinal, this direction. The uh, shear moment happened, uh, the uh, flexural moment happened. <coughs> Excuse me, <clears throat> and causing it just to fold over, and this, and you can see the sheets uh, breaking off. So if we can put these sheets back, it puts back the moment the crack into the, the uh, structure. I've got. So if we can put these back, all these pieces back into the air, back onto the surf, onto the surface here, we'd get, we'd, we'd be able to find the moment out here somewhere, I think. But I'm putting it in space out here that these sheets appear to be breaking somewhere about there, which puts them in the plan. Puts them in the plan break somewhere between um, this this dot, this uh, girder here and this outer girder. So somewhere between here and here, if you can imagine that being a girder. These are the flapping pieces that we see in large sections that fell down. At the that That's where we start having the failure. It could actually be the center line right here, this girder here. If this was a fail down the center line portion, that would still give us this flap here. Uh, that would give us an internal, uh, uh, this would become tension here, and it would just break free just like a, a, a um, help you guys visualize it. Uh, I think of this as a cracker. And it, imagine I want you to break it here from the top down, so the cracker, your thumbs are up top here, and you push downwards to break the cracker as it's holding your hand. This section stays onto here, but the weight of it, and it start it rips it off, for the most part. And we see that with those. Here's the cracker section, but not not quite there. It's a little further out with this with this uh, with this. And here's the pieces here. So I've got it out there now. Is the identifier that this was a this was a this directional break. The crane um, uh, leaning. But look at the deformation on the crane materials. They're not there. The crane materials are, are not, not deformed. I mean, we're looking at this, and we're not, I'm not finding any deformation of the crane material. Look at the look at the members. This one here got tangled up a little bit. Oh, a piece of steel of all things. Look at that. Right here out of this uh that there. That's probably maybe one of the smoking gun connections that broke free right here. Look at it. Looks like it did tag a piece of uh, of, of this on the failure. But the cranes, uh, that's just a little incidental. But the cranes are vertical. Uh, 
besides the stockpiling of material in that one. The, 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 the wrong directional, if I call it wrong directional, uh, that's work anyway.